this video is going to be a tips and tricks video. So this, I have just pre-creased Kota Ema's uh, flying, what's it called? My god, it, I had it in my head a second ago, flying, flying something, I'll have the name on screen, I completely forgot already, but I've just pre-creased his insect. Now, how I pre-crease is, I do all the, all the mountain folds, in fact I do all creases as a mountain fold on the collar side. Now, normally, um, you would be ready to jump into collapsing, but it's a wrong idea to do that. Mostly because all the creases right now are mountain fold, so half of them are correct. But the ones that need to be valley fold are also mountain fold. So collapsing right now would be a bad idea, simply because you're going to give yourself a lot of trouble later on, especially if you're doing uh, complex crease patterns or in general, uh, using thin paper as well, you're going to have a hard time collapsing if all creases are mountain folds and especially getting clean. So what I do is, whenever I fold from a crease pattern, I print the crease pattern off three times. The first one is the normal crease pattern, so I've got normal one and it says pre-crease. So this crease pattern I use to pre-crease. Every time I make a crease, I mark it off and I go through the whole crease pattern and make sure I've got every single crease needed to pre-crease. I've only got a few here left to do in these wee diagonals. I'll get those later on. So the first crease pattern that is used is for pre-creasing. Now the second one, let me get that out of the road, is normal two. And this one I use to help collapse. So once everything is in the correct position, in the correct orientation, all creases are mountain fold and valley folds, I will then use this to collapse. So simply follow along and collapse it. Now the third one, if you're wondering what the third one is, it is the crease pattern but flipped. So I have on the computer, I've downloaded the crease pattern, I've put it into the, my image program and I've flipped it. So it's basically mirrored. So let me try and show you as an example. This is the normal crease pattern. As you can see, we have these pleats on the right hand side, but they are on the left hand side here. So this tells us that this crease pattern is as normal, it's colour side up. Red is mountain, blue is valley fold. Whereas this, because it is mirrored, it's basically like that. So let me flip this over. This paper is Lupchi by the way. If you want to buy it, link is in the description. So this crease pattern is for the white side. So this is white up. Uh, so blue is mountain and red is valley folds. So now, this is, this is the crucial part. What I'm going to do now is go through and make all of these blue creases, mountain folds, strong mountain folds on the white side. So that means that once I do this, every single crease will be absolutely perfect. Solid mountain folds on the color side, solid mountain folds on the white side, i.e. valley folds. And then when I come to collapse this, it will be much easier. Now doing that, it does help because if you, let me try and show you as an example, this part right here, this part right here. So all these creases, oops, too close, there. All these creases right now are mountain folds on the colour side for this part right in the centre of the screen. Where is it on the paper? Right here, it's hard to see. Too close again. They are right here. So all these creases are mountain folds right now. Now if I tried to collapse that, I, I could do it, but I'll be giving myself a lot more work and the chances of not getting it super clean have, have risen a lot. Whereas if I take my time and 
make all the valley folds strong valley folds on the white side then this part will be much more easier to collapse and especially with the whole crease pattern in general and any crease pattern you're, you're setting yourself up and making it much easier to collapse so, so just to quickly recap the video when you, if you want to do this print off three of the crease patterns the first one you would pre-crease and as normal the second one you would use to collapse as normal and then the third one is flipped now if you can't flip the crease pattern in an image program uh, let me know in the comments I can do it for you I can send it to you if that helps but and uh, yeah this method really does work and I've been doing it for almost every crease pattern I have done especially for insects if you want to make your folding a lot easier and a lot more stressful and a lot more straightforward even if you're doing complex crease patterns I would advise you do this because it is night and day it's so much easier so much better and your folding will be a lot more cleaner and you will surprise yourself at how easy this makes the collapsing and such and I would definitely recommend it it is a great method and it has never faulted me once and that is it I hope you learn from this and I hope you do try this out it is such a good method